My friend Jane Lovering asked me if I could um, show her how to make one of these. So Facebook cover with all of your book covers on, which you can do in Canva. If these videos are useful to you, please like and subscribe. It makes a big difference to me, especially the subscribing thing. Um, and tell all your friends if these are useful. Do share. Okay, let's get designing. So we go to Canva and create a design. You can use the Facebook cover dimensions that are already on there, but for the Facebook header, so it's basically this thing here at the, at the top of your page. For that, I had a little poke around and it's best to use 820 by 360 pixels. Now the reason for this is they've got slightly different dimensions on a phone. So the bit that you see on a phone will be narrower um, than what you see on a desktop like this one. So 820 by 360 pixels, create new design. Now in true blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drag this thing in the middle. Okay, so what this is, we have a rectangle here, which is 640 wide by 300 high. Okay, which is the size that you would see on a phone. So we bring that into the middle there. Okay, so now what we want to do is make sure that our core pieces of information, so your name and your most of your book covers at least, are in the middle in this area here. So let's do that. Let's just check if this works, lock it into position, okay. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Uploads and you should have all of your books in 3D mockups or just as covers already uploaded into here. So I've got five. So let me find them. Okay, so I've got all five of my book covers here. They're all slightly different sizes. And one of the things I'm going to do in a minute is to crop them so that I only have the bits that I need. So I'm going to spend a few minutes doing that. I will be right back. Okay, I have now cropped these so that they are not so wide as they were before. It just makes them easier to handle. Right then, let's put them in some sort of order. I'm going to put mine in the order that they were published. Marriage, The Stolen Life, and Christmas at the Palace. Right. Now then, they're all wildly different sizes, so I need to try and line them up. Now you could use, Canva has its own sort of lining up software, but let's go to Elements, hit L, you get a line. Let's use this line. And line them up at the bottom and duplicate the line to line them up at the top. There's loads of different ways to do it. I just like doing it this way because, I don't know, just like it this way. So. Now the reason that I cropped them so that you didn't have too much extra stuff, extra space either side, was because when you do this they start to overlap and it's a lot easier if they don't overlap too much. Now sometimes you can get this lined up perfectly, but when you look at it by eye, it looks off. In which case I would always, with your judgment by looking at it by eye, because if it looks off to you, chances are it'll look off to somebody else looking at it as well. Let's have a look. Delete and delete. That looks okay. Not perfect, but it'll do for now. Right. That one needs to be a tiny bit maybe 
Right, now we need my name, which, like I say, here's what I did earlier. So, Control C, Control V. So that's just my name in a, a color that I like. And because I have another pen name, I like to cross-reference them, but I'm not sure it does any good. Okay, so now all of these will be within what you see on a phone and the whole thing will be what you see on a desktop. Right. Now I have some this floral element here, which I found earlier. I actually bought this. This is not in Canva. I bought it on um, off deposit photos, I think. So I'm going to put that there and maybe send it to the back position to the back and i'm going to take it again and copy and paste control c control v and put it at the top as well and then turn the transparency right down so that you can see the box behind it and position it backwards to the back Right, now I'm going to delete this grey square because we don't need it. We know everything is in the right place. Oh, we've got to unlock it first. Edit, delete. There. That'll do, I think. Okay, so then we go to share and download. Okay, right, and then we go to here. Now, this is my old Facebook header. This is my Facebook page. Go to edit cover photo and upload photo. Let's upload the thing I just downloaded and see what it looks like. That's not too bad. It's got all my books on there and it's got both my names. You can move it around, up or down, however you like it. I think that's probably good. And save changes. Okay, so once it's finished, it will basically have all of my book covers and my name. Um, and I will check it on a mobile later and it should hopefully <laughs> show just this bit for the mobile.